If you've made it this far into the video, that means two things. One, you're awesome, and two, I should reward you for being awesome. So I'm actually going to be giving away these four... Guys, I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry that I haven't been uploading a lot this month. In fact, barely nothing. I was on vacation. You guys saw the vlogs. If you guys haven't seen those vlogs, check them out. They are so much fun. They are funny. They are adventurous. Check them out. Links in the description. And then after vacation, I got sick. And I still am kind of sick. I had stomach ache stuff sick. Like, all that comes around with stomach ache stuff sickness. It's not fun. I still am kind of sick, but I'm feeling better today, so that's why I'm filming this video. You guys probably don't really care that I'm sick. You guys just want to know the new features and changes inside of WatchOS 6 Beta 2 and Beta 3. Before I do that, this video has been brought to you by Rhino Shield. Rhino Shield has this guy, the Crash Guard NX4 Apple Watch. It's probably one of the best cases that you can buy right now for your Apple Watch. It's highly customizable, meaning you can actually change the frame and the rim of the actual case so you can just keep switching around the colors. It's also got great impact protection, like I've literally smacked it. I mean, just check it out. Another thing that I love about this case as well is that the actual case is actually higher than the actual watch. So if you actually smack it with a wall or, you know, stuff like this happens, I've smacked my watch a bunch of times with the wall. Since the case is actually higher than the actual watch, well, nothing will happen to your Apple Watch. So if you care about protection for your Apple Watch, if you go on bike rides a lot or if you're just a clumsy person like me, well, make sure to check out the link down in the description to purchase your Crash Guard NX by Rhino Shield. And now the time has come. What is new inside of WatchOS 6 Beta 2 and Beta 3? Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so fun fact about WatchOS 6 Beta 1, I actually got stuck inside of Beta 1 and couldn't update to Beta 2, so then I unpaired my Apple Watch, and then I couldn't pair my Apple Watch again because I got a bug. It was really frustrating, I couldn't actually use my Apple Watch for, it was probably a, a week and a half, two weeks. It was a frustrating time. Yesterday, actually two days ago, I finally restored my iPhone, and then it's been a mess. I finally have my Apple Watch with Beta 2 and Beta 3. So finally, now for real, let me tell you what's new and what I found in Beta 2 and Beta 3. So Apple now finally lets us delete stock apps from Apple. This is something that I've been waiting forever. Apple has kind of done it. Apple now lets us delete some stock apps, not all of them, which most of them that I wanted to delete are now deleted. But of course, Apple doesn't let us delete the music app, the most important apps from Apple. Apple doesn't let us delete them, which I'm okay with, but Apple's period tracking app, I can finally delete them. Once again, I'm not against periods, but I didn't really use those apps, so it's great that Apple now lets us delete them. There were previously only three colors inside of the California watch face, but now I'm sure you can add up to like 20 or 30. All the bands that Apple sells, the colors, they're now available in the California watch face, which is awesome. This is just a change in design, but if you actually play a song or a podcast from your Apple Watch with no headphones that are actually connected, you'll actually get a new redesigned pop-up that lets you know that you should probably go connect headphones or a speaker to play music or a podcast inside of your Apple Watch. Animojis. Animojis have also been redesigned inside of the Messages app on the Apple Watch. If you tap on the Messages app and then you tap on the Emojis icon, you'll be able to see all the different Animoji animals except the dinosaur because the dinosaur isn't an animal. If you tap on one of those animals, you'll be able to see all the different expressions that you can pick from from the Animoji stickers. So now you can send any expression that you want, any Animoji expression that you want, straight from the wrist. Good stuff. If you go inside of the home app and force touch, you'll be able to change different homes that you have inside of the home app. Now Shazam has been working for series for years on the iPhone, but now with WatchOS 6 Beta 2, it was supposedly working with Beta 1, but it didn't work for me. With Beta 2, you can finally now ask your Apple Watch what song is playing on the radio, or if you hear a song in the street, you can ask Siri what song is playing, or Shazam this song, and your Apple Watch will let you know what song is actually playing. So now you don't really need to actually have the Shazam up on the Apple Watch. So if you do have it, you can make sure to delete it because it's kind of pointless now. You can just ask Siri and you can actually add the song to your library directly from Siri. Apple Maps has also been totally redesigned with a more rounded UI. I honestly really like the change because now it's actually really, really simple to use. Before, 
I just went to the iPhone to go through my maps if I needed to go somewhere, but now I honestly see myself using my Apple Watch more because of how simple and how intuitive it actually is to use now. Inside of the settings app, there are so many changes that make you not want to go to your iPhone anymore because now, for example, you can update your Apple Watch without using your iPhone, which is amazing. Like so many of these different toggles, I've written them down because I honestly can't remember all of them. You can change series settings there. You can change the privacy settings, manage your dictation. You can turn on and turn off Bluetooth now, manage handoff. Um, background app refresh and so much more so it's really awesome the direction that Apple is deciding to go with the Apple Watch to make the Apple Watch more of an independent device yeah that's pretty much it for all the new features and changes that I found in watch OS 6 beta 2 and beta 3 if you've made it this far into the video that means two things one you're awesome and two I should reward you for being awesome so I'm actually gonna be giving away these four Rhino Shield cases to one of you guys not five because I really like my red one. There's only three steps to follow to enter. One, go follow me on Instagram. Two, follow me on Twitter. And three, leave a comment down below. My Instagram and my Twitter are linked in the description. And yeah, good luck to everybody. Also, I'll link down below my vlogs and um, some other Watch OS 6 videos I've done. And yeah, I'm gonna leave because it's literally so hot in my room. I'm dying, I'm literally sweating. Right.